here is question 1a part 3. So the question asks us to describe any unusual features in our graph. So a little note, when we talk about unusual features, they are values that are a lot larger or smaller than I would expect. So let's take our US data, put our trend line in there, and that gives us our basis to compare whether the values are a lot bigger or smaller than we expect. So we can start off by identifying this large peak here, and if I follow that down, that is in 1904, and that is in St. Louis, US. So there is a, in that time period, they, the US got a lot more medals than we would have expected them to get. It's a very large spike. Let's have a look when else we have. We've got our gap in 1980, so if I follow that down, that gives us our 1980 in Moscow, and that's when the US boycotted um, the Olympic Games. So that's another unusual feature. There's missing data. And the other peak there, um, a very unusually high value, is if I follow that down, that tells us it occurred in 1984 in Los Angeles in the US. So I need to write a little something up about that. So I'm going to say for our US data on medals, the unusual values are and I can just do bullet points, in 1904 St. Louis, the number of medals is well above the trend line. In 1984, the number of medals is well above the trend line also. And then we can see in both of these years, the US was the host country. So they've achieved very high numbers, exceptionally high numbers of medals when they were hosting it. And there's also the 1980, when they did not attend the Olympic Games. That is another unusual value. So that's looking at the US. Now let's do the same thing, but look at Great Britain. So first of all, we're going to put in a trend line there for Great Britain. And I'm going to look at what values are unusually high or low compared to that trend line. So I'm going to start off with this. There's a very low value down here. And that's in 1904, St. Louis. So they obviously scored a very low number of medals there um, at that particular time. We've got this other peak here, another spike. Um, and if I follow that down, that is in 1908 in London. So there are two unusual features in that um, from Great Britain. So I'm going to say for the Great Britain data, um, the unusual values are... In 1904, the number of medals is well below the trend line, so quite unusually low. And in 1908, the number of medals is well above the trend line. And again, they were also the host country in 1908, when they had this unusually high number of medals. So it appears from both the US and Great Britain that when they're the host country, they've got an unusually high number of medals. And when we look at the graph, New Zealand doesn't have any particular different features. So in terms of marking, um, what we do is if we you could identify one unusual point, then that would get you an achieved skill. So just one bullet point, um, for example, saying that the US had an, a very high number of medals in 1904. Identifying that one value gets you a achieve skill. If you were able to identify two unusual points then that would have given you an R which is your merit level. If you were able to identify three points and that must have, be from two different countries um, then that would get you a T which is an excellence level 